All right, everybody. So I just wanted to harvest. Come out here and harvest on this to show y'all what was what. So when you harvest sprouting broccoli, you can harvest that whole stem like that because the stem is tender too. Um, I don't let none of that stem go to waste. Oh Lord, I'm about to drop the phone. Kenny don't want me to let the stem go to waste. Either. Let me stop doing that because y'all can't see what I'm doing. So y'all see how long this is? Snip that off right there. Now like I said, those stems are tender and um, actually fairly sweet. Now, let me mention this. Uh, brassicas will be tender after a frost. So that's any kind of greens. I mean, sweet. they'll be sweeter uh, after a frost. But I do want to mention this. Uh, your soil plays a part in that too. Um, if anybody knows anything about wine and growing grapes, oftentimes um, the uh, grape, the vineyards are more concerned with the soil than they are the actual grapes. The reason being is uh, your soil is going to determine, have a lot, have a large factor in what your crops taste like. So, I would word a caution to anybody if you growing stuff and people talking about they love it and it seems like you hate it, or maybe it seems like your stuff is extra bitter or something, it might be a soil. I'm not saying it's not just your taste buds but um i'm dropping stuff all down in here I'm trying to one hand harvest actually you know what the problem is harvesting with a tool my best tool is right here just break the stuff off also y'all see how far i let this go when it starts spreading out like that don't uh go ahead and harvest it um because it's if it if the flowers start to open up on you you can still eat it but um it's just not as uh not as good to eat it don't taste as good like texture wise um these leaves like this here are about to give up the ghost so I'm going to pull those out and put those in my bucket with my, um, I have a bucket with, uh, yellow leaves and stuff in it that I use for, um, fertilizer. I let it, uh, I just let it ferment down and use it for fertilizer so i'm just kind of looking over the plant because like i said some of these are pretty tall and i don't want them to uh spread out and go to seed so pretty much i pick all the bigger ones i'm gonna let that grow some more this little one i usually don't pick this itty bitty stuff but that's on a smaller plant and i want this in here see i usually don't pick that little little bee stuff i'll let it get a little bigger but i picked that because i want the plant to branch out some more but that's what it looked like picked i could pick most of the leaves off of that too but i'm not but this is what you get usually i have a few more plants than this but um yeah ain't bad is it so let me walk around and show y'all what i got going on right quick um, pick those up. so i'm trying to look and see is that broccoli about to make a head it's not yet down in here my cilantro went ahead and came up i planted that a while ago that's romanesco broccoli over there with uh elephant garlic notice how big that elephant garlic is I planted that elephant garlic and this elephant garlic at the same time. And you see how much bigger that one is? That's because of that bed. I'm going to tell you what I did to these beds. That they are the best beds that I have. They have more charcoal in them than all the beds out here. And um, 
if you are not using biochar in your garden you should be period like if you're not doing it start doing it even if you contain a garden the reason why i say that is your soils hold so much more nutrition as a matter of fact if you're container gardening i recommend that you use charcoal more than somebody that's gardening in ground why in a container garden most of your nutrients are going to wash out of that pot or container very quickly versus being in ground that's one of the reasons why because these are basically containers um, a lot of people don't like to think about it that way but a raised bed is pretty much a container um, especially if the bottom is open to the ground so your nutrients eventually will wash down into the ground but if you have charcoal which will turn into biochar when mixed with soil and all that other stuff your soils will hold nutrients so much better and that's all the more better for a container garden um, because you don't you don't want to have to be using all that fertilizer all the time you know it becomes uh, cost prohibitive to do that um, and I, I actually believe it makes your food taste better uh, when you build your soils up um, so I see a harlequin bug so this ice probably didn't kill anything clearly because I'm seeing bugs already like the ants have gone inside but anyway these are the pomegranate cuttings that pissed up kitchen and garden sent me that's Felix um so yeah say hi so y'all see the it this made it through the ice no problem y'all see the uh it's, it's it's leafing out it already had some little leaves on it like for instance these it had these up here before the ice but um the coldness just frost bit those but it's more leaves coming in and i see more buds swelling up on that so those pomegranates are still alive kenny that's my foot look at him don't you be biting me yeah anyway um but anyhow, these are my best two beds. These are probably the next two. I'm going to add more uh, charcoal to all of these, really. Because I want them all to perform like this. Because I have not really, I've, I've not fed this. And those are growing so fast and beautiful. This one, too. And you can see how big these onions are. These are the same onions. Watch, watch these onions. Now, let me take you to the other one. Remember them other sets I planted? Planted them all on the same day. Nothing different. Didn't do anything different. Look at these onions same ones they're about half the size so you know and these are all the onions that i started from seed last fall i went ahead and got them in the ground um that's the rest of the comfrey put a few onions a few beets in there y'all remember the um i separated out my lemongrass y'all can see see that green it's gonna grow back y'all it's not dead um i gotta do i still gotta do that one um, y'all remember those, um, those, uh, what are they called? Mulberries. <laughs> remember the mulberries I, I did and showed y'all how to do the cuttings? Y'all, can y'all see the buds swelling on those? You see them getting ready to leaf out? So that's, that's them. This is, these are my Violette de Bordeaux figs and Felix's head. And you can see a leaf coming in on that one that bud is getting ready to open up i think i had no the rabbit tobacco wasn't in there i had rabbit tobacco in something and i haven't uh look at him lounge lounge city anyway um redid all my onions y'all see how good my bunch of onions look we did all of them bunch of onions look good um this hasn't sprouted back yet it will I'll just wait uh, my radishes, I think I've mentioned this in a previous video. They went ahead and died on me. So, I pulled them. Um, so, that was green. This was purple. I went ahead and planted uh, rat tail radishes again. Purple ones here. And then I planted dragon's tail radish. I think over there. I planted it somewhere. Dragon's tail radish. I'm thinking that's another name for rat tail radish. But the dragon's tail are going to be green. Yeah, for sure. These 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 ones with these big leaves. Those are probably the dragon's tail. 
radishes, I'm thinking. But I had planted some stuff in here before and it didn't come up. And I'm wondering if it's now warm enough. Now it's going to come up. Uh, the kohlrabi is still just doing its thing. Just growing. It's shooting off a lot of side babies. So maybe I'll just take some cuttings from this plant. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, this is some other kind of brassica and uh, elephant garlic. Um, once again, I need to put more charcoal in these beds. I got a bunch of charcoal in the back I'm going to inoculate with. Um, I'm going to make some weed tea or something. Something really funky and inoculate it with. Um, in here, I forget what I planted. Some little brassica. Um, I did weed this out fairly decently. Um, I almost got that down to no weeds. I planted lady cream peas here. Pink purple hole. Pink eyed purple holes over there here and here I have what I'm calling this year I've got some heritage plants or what I'm calling heritage plants going in um, this year I am going to do several plants that were plants brought here by enslaved Africans so the stuff our ancestors brought with them from home they going in the garden and um, I got some stuff going on with that and um, I'll probably tell y'all about that at some point um, but I don't want to tell y'all about it now. I need I got to get further along with some things. Y'all don't understand your girl been busy. Um, over here, and I'm going to try to hurry up because my battery. Over here, I'm going to see if y'all can see it. Can y'all see the buds? A little green. Come on, camera, focus. Battery's low. It's probably why I don't want to focus. But you can see the little green buds. Buds swelling up. Gooseberries coming in. This one hasn't started yet, but I'm sure it will. The buds are there. It's alive. Uh, this died back to the ground not sure if that pepper is dead or not I don't think it is but I have to wait a little longer I think somebody said in the comment section that their peppers haven't come back yet give your peppers some time to come back if you overwintered them give them some time they're not going to be the first thing that emerges um, but they just you know give them some time uh, I don't know if y'all can see this is supposed to be a white mulberry there's some leaves there and you can just see buds um these are some other mulberry cuttings that i did these leafed out the ice killed the buds and then it grew new buds um i got some more over there those are budding out um, i planted some okra there yesterday i need to plant some uh get some sorrel going over here you can see this is leafing out so we got that going let's see what else we got going so everything, man, spring is coming. It's, everything's just coming to life. It's been 70, 80 degrees, 50 degrees at night. So it's been, you know, decent temps. Um, this, this is growing fast because yesterday these were not like little leaves. Um, I did water these. And the ones that made it are coming through. I'm thinking all these up here that the ones that have no leaves are not going to make it. I'm going to give them a little bit longer to leaf out. They don't leaf out. I'm pulling them. And reusing the soil because y'all don't understand your girl been starting so much stuff let me show y'all how much compost i'm down to that's finished hardly nothing this uh, phone calls that tarp is like four by four and this isn't much compost at all maybe three or four inches thick if i had to say um I need to disrupt this to disrupt a lot of these weeds but um but yeah so this what I'm what I'm working with this is all I got um, so yeah I ain't got my so yeah starting seeds and stuff I'm gonna have to edit this and this makes me angry because phone calls it's like stop calling me why are you call anyway um i lost a lot of this garlic not sure why there's still some at the bottom but eh, whatever i ain't got time to fret and worry about it what i'll probably do is turn that into a herb tower because there are some herbs that i need uh, basil marjoram uh, sage several herbs i want probably gonna turn that into a herb tower um, let me show y'all the blueberries. 
Felix, stop that stretching. Stop tearing my driveway up. So, blueberries. Uh oh, sh let me stop touching stuff. I'm knocking blooms off. Anyway, blueberries are in full freaking bloom. This bush has never been like this. Y'all can see the blackberries. All the blackberries are coming in. All the blackberries are coming in. Um, the figs haven't leafed out yet. I'm sure they will in a minute. I see now that the grapes are starting to. I got to find a spot for these grapes. I got to find a spot with a trellis. Like, I got to make a trellis or something. Got to do something. Um, I got plenty of PVC pipes there, which y'all can see. The grapes are starting to leaf out. I'm looking at the other one to see if I see any spots where it's leafing out. But I see the figs, the um, buds on the figs, green that's starting to pop in. I got some onions planted at the bottom of my figs. And that's the mother blackberry that gave birth to all these other blackberries that are in the ground. Um, I'm going to sell the ones in pots. I'm probably going to dig up a lot of these other ones and sell them too. Um, but anyway, so does that, let me show you all the fruit trees right quick. Man, I got some projects. I need to do some things for my grill today. I'm going to make a new grate for it. All right. So those peppers haven't grown back in. If they're going to grow back in, don't know if they made it or not. We'll see. Um, something's been digging again. Freaking squirrel. Anyway, um, just lost a branch. Anyway, so celery's still looking good. Um, something's been slightly digging over here. These are gorgeous. That's bok choy going to seed. I'm not sure what this other brassica is. I've got potatoes coming for, for most of this. So most of this is going to get potatoes. Something's been digging. Man, I'm going to give me some Irish Spring. I'm going to get some Irish Spring. Because, um, quite frankly, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of the digging. It's like, they won't freaking stop. They just continue. Um, there's some brassicas coming up in here. I know what I planted. I don't know if that's what that is. Peach trees. Can y'all see the flowers? This one over here is going to have, this one had more peaches last year. This one had less peaches, and that's usually how they do. Um, they kind of trade off back and forth with um, the load of peaches. But um, they look pretty good. Um, pears, you see they're leafing out. That one has blooms, that one doesn't. Um, not to kill myself this tree still ain't looking so hot it's not dead at least not yet i don't think it's gonna die i'm pretty sure it's gonna drop all its leaves though that one dropped a lot of leaves didn't drop all of them it seems to have stopped dropping leaves all the rest of the leaves look healthy so the kumquat i'm not worried about at all this one i can't say i'm worried about it i think it's gonna bounce back because like i said when i scratch down where there's bark see this up here was not lignified it didn't have bark on it but where there's um so i expect that to die back because that's not intended to take frost but where there's bark i assume that it will be fine but it's good to see all my trees leafing out it's good to see that um somebody asked me about kumquats the kumquat babies i think they died the little bitty kumquats i had the ice killed them I'm almost positive. Um, the apple is starting to leaf out in a couple of places. But what I'm really glad to see is the um, the persimmon. The buds are um, the buds are coming out really nicely. So it didn't kill back any of these limbs. So I'll have some nice growth because the first year it was here. It got kind of cold and it killed pretty much all the limbs back down to the trunk. It grew new limbs, but you know, persimmons grow so 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 um, slow. It grew that, then it grew this limb last year. So it grew about four inches. It grew all of this last year. You know, like I said, it just grows slow. So I'm glad to see all that stuff. Let it, I need to fertilize this. Um, 
I put a lot of charcoal in there. You can see it on top. And I'm pretty sure it's just sucking the nutrients out of it. Because let me show you this other one. I put charcoal in this one too. But this um, soil down here had a uh, fertilizer in it. Because this was that miracle grow or whatever. But you see this stuff is much bigger. So the charcoal didn't just suck all the nutrients out. That's lettuce and that's green sorrel. I have red sorrel up there. But I'm going to feed that pretty heavily. heavily. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. The bananas have not grown any new growth as of yet. So, and look at this little peach down here. Because that's surely what this is. I had a peach seed from my peach tree that I threw down in that apple thing. And that sucker has grown very nicely. I can't believe that. And I'm just like, that sucker's growing fast. So, we're going to play with that. I, I may, may dig him out of there because I can't have them two trees right on top of each other like that. But I hate to do it now that it's leafed out. I might leave it for this season and when it goes dormant, dig it out. But um, anyway, y'all, that's pretty much everything I want to show y'all. So, till next time, see you guys later.